If you can't pay attention for more than five seconds, go to the settings in the YouTube player and set the playback speed to two. On September 20th, 2017, Mojang made one of the biggest announcements in Minecraft history, that all platforms except for PlayStation and Java Edition would be able to play together in multiplayer on the same version. This included the newly arrived Nintendo Switch and Pocket Edition players. This marked the start of a brand new era in playing the game. No longer would two people need the same console or device to play survival Minecraft. Mobile Edition and Windows 10 Edition players could now play Minecraft together on the same world, but the PlayStation wasn't included due to Sony's refusing to allow the game to play with people outside of the PlayStation Network. And with the rise of the massive game Fortnite, they pressured Sony into lifting these restrictions, and several years later, PlayStation Crossplay was finally enabled and it was revealed that Sony absolutely despised the idea of any cross-platform play for any game on the PlayStation. In the same year, the creation of the Geyser Project allowed for Java servers to allow Bedrock players to join, meaning every platform, except for the people on Raspberry Pi, could now play together on a Minecraft server. And four years later, with Roblox's new Open Cloud API, Roblox games now have the ability to fetch and send data to servers outside of games within their ecosystem, which has caused two groups of people to recently start up their own projects allowing for Minecraft and Roblox crossplay. Roblox is a massive game, and according to Backlinko, they have an average daily active user count of 70 million players per day, with 20% of them being from the US and Canada. There are in fact two crossplay projects that make use of Roblox's API so Minecraft servers and Roblox games can send player and world data between each other. On February 4th, 2024, the Mineplay project revealed to the world the first example of Minecraft and Roblox crossplay, showing that a Roblox player could now cross into a Minecraft world and vice versa. And a day later, the Mineplay team woke up to their first TikTok announcing their project having over 50,000 views. The next day, they announced that they were going to be doing a public test of the crossplay project, which many people jumped on to try out their prototype. Near the end of that month, they reported that Mineplay was close to stability and asked what game mode should be made first, which Freebuild became the most voted on game mode. They then introduced a skin system, and between the end of March and start of April, it was announced that Freebuild will be released soon. But this isn't the only project out there. The same day that Mindplay announced their project on TikTok, a random developer showed off on the Roblox forums that they had in fact made a small prototype allowing for crossplay between Minecraft and Roblox within one day. And there is another project that has its own website but hasn't been fully established yet, called the Crossplay Project. In this same project, you can also place and break down blocks, and they've added in signs in Geyser, so not just Java players and Roblox players can play together on the same server. This looks like the start of a cross-game better together update, and you should check out and support these projects, so they become more and more stable. These projects are the first of their kind, and the whole world is extremely excited about this.